Compression stockings are tight and they can be a struggle to get on and off. Even if you have the right fit and the right size, they can still be a challenge. My name is Kelly and I'm a physical therapist and a certified lymph edema therapist. And every single day I teach my patients how to get compression stockings on and off effectively. So in this video, I'm gonna share the easiest way to get a compression stocking on. But if it's still a struggle to get them on, don't worry, because I'm also going to share different tips and tools that you can use to get them on. Okay, so I have my compression stockings here. I have just basic 20 to 30 millimeters of regular pressure, which is a medical grade stocking. And I also have a flat knit for those who have more of a custom stocking. So just to show you off the basic one, the compression stockings are gonna be really stretchy. And so if you just try to pull it on like a normal sock, it's just gonna stretch a lot, which makes it really hard to get the foot and ankle piece on. The other mistake I see people make is they'll try to bunch up the sock like they would another sock, but when you try to pull it on, it's too tight. So if you have too many layers with these stockings, it makes it really hard to open up and that's pretty challenging to get the sock on. So what you wanna do is you want as little layering as possible. So instead, I will reach in to the heel portion of the sock, pinch at the heel, and then pull it inside out there. I'm gonna smooth up the heel part. And from there, I still have some stretch to open it up and I'm gonna put it on like a normal sock. So I'll pull it up towards the heel. And then from there, you have two options. If you feel pretty confident with your strength, you can just pull it up the rest of the way. Or if it's a little bit of a thicker sock or you struggle with the tightness, you can do it in two sections. So I'll just pull around where the toe area is and pull up. And then I'll pull that last piece the rest of the way separately. From there, I just wanna go back. I might pull out the toe area so it's not so tight there. Make sure the heel area is in alignment and make sure there's no creases anywhere on the sock and that the fabric's pretty smoothed out. So a lot easier than the other ways to get it off. Instead of bunching it down, which is gonna make it really tight again to get it over the heel, what you wanna do instead, again, minimal layering. So I'm gonna fold it over, pull it down as far as I can, and then I'll come back and pull another section to pull it off the rest of the way. So if that's still a challenge, the next thing you can try is using something like gloves. So we have gardening gloves that have some grip to it. I have donning gloves that are made by a brand who makes compression stockings specifically. And then I also have just a rubber glove that we would use um, for washing dishes or something like cleaning. So anything that has a little bit of a grip to it, that can allow for those who have trouble with gripping, wear those and help pull up the stocking. And so I would do the same sort of technique that I just showed, but instead when I pull up or pull on, you can wear your gloves to help pinch and grip and pull the stocking up. From there, when you're trying to smooth out the creases, the glove is really nice with the grip to help with that. You can help pull some of the fabric back down or pull it up, depending on what you need to do to adjust. 
The other thing that you can use is something like Dysum. And so this is a little bit sticky um, and it does a really nice job of gripping to some sort of surface. And the other thing you can do for those who have Dysum is you can put it on the ground. And from there, you can try putting your stocking on in one big pull if you feel like you can get a lot of fabric up. So I'm gonna pull on my stocking as far as I can. And then let's just say I have that extra piece at the heel so I can put this on the ground or on the surface and move my heel down it just to help pull the rest of the fabric up to my heel. And then from there, I might just adjust the top one more time. So that's a nice, simple, cheap tool that you can also have around for those who can pull on the stocking just in a regular way, but need a little bit of assistance with that heel area. So other options are going to be the easy slides, which are these green or clear slides. For those who can just pull up the garment, have no issues with the pulling, but again, have trouble with the heel area or just have trouble because maybe they put lotion on or their skin's a little sticky from the humidity and the stockings have a hard time going up against that skin. These have a nice slick slide to it, so the stocking will slide right up over. So I'm gonna show you a couple examples. They are a little loud and so I'm gonna turn down the sound a little bit so it's not too loud on you. But what we'll do is we'll pull it on, we'll pull the stocking over, and then you can see that I will just pull on the slide and to pull it off and the stocking will stay put. They do have two options, one for the arm and one for the leg, as well as something for open toed and closed toed. So you just wanna make sure that you're looking at the right thing based on what you need. So if I had an open toe, the strip would actually be on the outside and I would pull from the toes and pull it out as well. So again, really easy, slides right on. I think this is a nice option for those who have the thigh high garments or the flat knit custom garments that's just thick. Um, I feel like it just slides right up and over just to make the whole process a little bit easier. And now if someone wants something smaller rather than the big one like that and they just need help over the foot and ankle, they do make smaller ones that look like a small little slipper that just go on over the foot and ankle to help pull the stocking over that area and then someone can pull the rest on themselves. Now if gripping is still a problem, one of my favorite tools is the Easy As Donner. This is gonna make it a lot easier so you don't have to pull the stocking up with your hands. And so what you'll do is it will set it your surface, you can set it on the table, and you'll take your stocking or your sleeve and it folds over the top area. And then from there, you just use your hands to slide it down. And you can slide it down as far as you can get it to go. Sometimes you can get all the way. You also wanna make sure that if you have a garment, you're trying to get it in the right alignment. And from there, you can set it on the ground or you can reach over and put your foot inside all the way and then grab the two ends and you can gradually pull up the garment all the way, pull out the easy slide as needed and then just adjust the stacking at the top. This tool comes in a couple different sizes. The one I have right now is a small. It also comes in medium large, so you can get the size based on the width that you need. I think this is one of the best options for those who have a hard time gripping their stocking and pulling it up. It's also probably the best option for those who are trying to put on a compression sleeve on their arm. When you're trying to put on your arm, you really only have one hand to pull up. When you put it on here and you put it on the easy ass down and you put your hand in and slide it up, it really takes a lot of effort away, really saves the hands over time, and it really is just a great option to put any sort of compression stocking or garment on. And then for those who like this kind of option but still have a hard time reaching down towards their foot and their ankle to pull it up the rest of the way, they do make other options that have longer handles. This one doesn't here, but it comes in a option as well that's the same concept, but it just has longer handles so that you don't have to reach as far over to pull it up the rest of the way. You still would put on the stocking just the same way that you would put it over the Easy As Donner, sliding it on, and then from there you can put it on the ground, pull the handles up the rest of the way. 
The other option that's really basic is a just a sock donning aid. These are pretty standard. They're a little bit more flimsy, so if you have a thicker compression garment or you plan to use it a lot, this one may not be the best option, but again, you'd put it on like you would the others by sliding the stocking up over the top. And the handles are there so that you can put it on the ground. You have to kind of have a little control to get your foot in the right spot. And then you can use the handles to pull up so you don't have to bend over as well. And so there's a couple different options based on whatever you need as far as saving the hand, saving the grip strength, or just the flexibility to get down towards the foot area. Now, if all of these options and tools still don't work for you and getting the compression stockings on is just too tough, I totally understand. The next best thing you might wanna look at though is then going to be a Velcro wrap. So there are a couple different kinds. I will place links for my favorite brands and types down below that I love to use with my patients. This is just one of them, this is the Ready Wrap. But instead of pulling a tight stocking on, you're just gonna Velcro over. So for this one, it's a lower leg piece and all we'll do is take the pieces and wrap them over themselves. So you can make this nice and snug, pulling this as tight as you'd like to give as much compression as you need or loosen it up as you need to. But that's gonna be a lot easier for some individuals to get them on. It's also a really nice option for those who have just skin issues with compression stockings. They just cause a tourniquet with those tight ridges in them and they just slide down too much. So this is another option you can look at. Again, I'll place some links down below and you can talk to your physical therapist or your certified lymphedema therapist to get some more information on these.